Done. Let me see. Thank you, Mr. President. Do you believe what you said? Thank you, sir. Do you believe what you said, that Putin can't remain in power? Or do you now regret saying that because your government has been trying to walk that back? Did your words complicate matters? Well, yes, three different questions. I'll answer them all. Number one, I'm not walking anything back. The fact of the matter is I was expressing the more outrage I felt toward the way Putin is dealing and the actions of this man, just, just brutality of it. Half the children in Ukraine, I just come from being with those families. And, uh, and so, uh, but I want to make it clear, I wasn't then, nor am I now, articulating a policy change. I was expressing the moral outrage that I feel, and I make no apologies for personal it. Feelings, personal, personal feelings, sir. Your personal feelings? My personal feelings. Secondly, you asked me about, uh, well, what was the second does part? Does it complicate the diplomacy of this moment? No, I don't think it does. You know, uh, the, uh, uh, the fact is that we're in a situation where, uh, um, what complicates the situation at the moment is the uh, the escalatory efforts of Putin to uh, continue to engage in carnage, the kind of behavior that uh, that makes the whole world say, "My God, what is this man doing?" That's what complicates things a great deal. And uh, um, but I, I don't think it complicates it at all. Mr. President, let me go.